Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today we will see some interesting circuits with neon lamps, such as this one that I have here. The neon lamp is simply a pair of electrodes inside the glass bulb, which is filled with neon gas. These type of lamps are now not in use anymore, only in some applications, but they were very popular in the past. In order to work, they need high voltage. They need around 70 volts, depending on the type of lamp. So I made this battery with seven 9 volt batteries, and this gives a voltage, let's see, 61 volts from our batteries. Not enough for the neon lamp, so I have in series my power supply, which has the advantage that I can fine tune the voltage. So let me turn on the power supply and connect the neon lamp. As you can see, we have 61 volts and the lamp is not on, so let me turn on the voltage. I'm going to raise the voltage until, until the lamp is on. There it is, at 71 volts our lamp is on. Uh, an interesting characteristic of this lamp is that it needs a certain voltage to turn on, but, but it has hysteresis, that is we can now decrease the voltage and the lamp will remain on. Let's see. The lamp is still on. Zero volts from the, from the variable power supply and only the 61 volts from the batteries and the lamp is still on. Therefore, it needs a higher voltage to turn on, one but the voltage to turn off is lower. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register upload your Gerber file and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. This is the classic neon flasher circuit. As you can see, we have the neon lamp with the limiting resistor, but we have a capacitor in parallel with the lamp. What will happen when we apply a voltage is that the capacitor will start to charge and the voltage will slowly rise until it reaches the 71 volts that the lamp needs to turn on and when the lamp turns on it draws all the charge in the capacitor the voltage goes down and the lamp goes off then the capacitor starts to charge again and the cycle repeats making the lamp to turn on and off. So let me connect and I'm going to increase the voltage. There it is. Now the lamp is flashing. The frequency of course depends on the value of the capacitance and the resistance. A large capacitance means lower frequency and vice versa and higher resistance also means lower frequency and vice versa. Now take a look at this other circuit with two neon lamps. We have the capacitor in this position and the two limiting resistors and as you can see, 
the lamps are flashing alternatively in sequence, one and then the other. This circuit needs a very precise voltage in order to work one or two volts above or below the correct voltage and the, uh, the effect will not appear, only one of the lamps will be on. And now I have three lamps, you can continue to add lamps and capacitors and resistors, now I have this arrangement with three lamps and as you can see we have this very interesting behavior they are flashing alternatively but with a particular way and to be honest I really don't fully understand how this circuit is working is working I have tried to uh, do some research on the web and in some old books but I have not found the answer to how this particular behavior emerges from the circuit. So if you know the answer please leave your comment in the comment sections of this video. Well that's all for today's video. I really like these little neon lamps. I hope you like them too. Many thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.